Now let's take a look at this figure 21-21 out of Stockup's uh, Designing Electrical System book, Volume 2. Now notice this deals with Class 1 Division 1, installing wiring methods above grade and below grade. And to the left of the illustration, we have wiring methods permitted, like rigid metal conduit, IMC, MI cable, MCHL cable, flexible cord. You know, some of those that uh, are used the most. But however, 501.10A1 through A7 has a number of wiring methods that could be used under certain conditions of use and installation. But rigid metal conduit, for example, is 501.10A1 item 1. And when you leave the uh, boundary area from, a uh, say, a Division one boundary, within 10 foot you have to place a seal. You have to place a seal within 18 inches of explosion-proof equipment where you're uh, running rigid metal conduit uh, in accordance with 501, you know, uh, dot 15 uh, in the uh, NEC. And, of course, uh, motor, uh, if you're two inches uh, or greater, uh, you know, you're going to have to use a seal. But explosion-proof motors, you need a seal uh, in accordance with uh, 501, you know, uh, dot uh, 10. A2, and if you're using flexible cord, 501.140, and that you would use there. And of course, if it's, uh, say, 24 inches in the earth, uh, you could use a, a non metallic uh, conduit in accordance with 501.10A1 item 1, but it's an exception. And you put, you know, uh, a lot of times they encase it with two inches of concrete uh, with this rule. And then they'll use metal elbow so you don't saw through the elbow when you're uh, pulling in your wire. Then notice you can use an M, uh, MI cable. And an MI cable can also be used as a uh, sealing means in accordance with 501.10A1 item 2. Explosion proof equipment is selected uh, from 500.7A defined in Article 100, Part 3. And then, of course, you know you have flexible wiring methods that you uh, could use in 501.10A2 uh, there that you could use uh, for flexibility. So basically, you're looking at wiring methods that you're going to use to wrap, say, from the service equipment or maybe a sub-panel to the equipment. Then you're going to have uh, flexibility uh, uh, connection cables that you might want to use. And so, you know, basically when you're wiring and explosion-proof equipment in a Class 1 Division 1 location, the wiring methods is in 501.10A. The seals are in 501.15A. And then if it's a motor, as you see in the illustration, it's 501.125 that deals with your explosion-proof motor or you could use a purged and pressurized type motor uh, in uh, uh, NFPA uh, 496, and you'd sweep it with 10 uh, volumes of air, uh, you know, purge it and sweep it real good, and then you would pressurize it and use a, a purged and pressurized motor where it wasn't convenient for you, or maybe you couldn't even purchase the type of motor you wanted in the explosion-proof type. And basically, these are the wiring methods. Now, the most used wiring method we see out there now uh, is the MCHL cable, and you don't need a seal. Uh, you know, it's a fitting that you would use that's listed to seal around the core of the cable and then uh, seal the inside of the cable, uh, the conductors and so forth. So... Uh, that MCHL cable is used uh, quite a bit, and you see more now rigid being used only where it's necessary for uh, maybe for physical protection and so forth. Now, basically, that's what this figure uh, 50, uh, 21 uh, dash 21 is illustrating: is the wiring methods used in a Class One Division One location in accordance with the NEC. 501.10A1 through A7.
seven if you want to get all the wiring methods. The ones that are most used is a 501.10A1 uh, through A6, in my opinion. But uh, everyone, you know, has their own opinion of the wiring methods they want to use. So that's what this illustration is illustrating to the designer and user of the NEC.